Uh, good morning everybody. Today we're um, having a crack at some um, Cabernet. Same grower. He's pre-trimmed the uh, sides of his canes, but he has drip irrigation in here. Um, the only thing that I've changed on the machine is that I've taken out uh, one of the cutters that goes, does underneath the top cordon. Um, being that I'm going straight through this Cabernet into an old patch of um, rough gordos and also the training in this patch of vines here. It's okay, but um, there's a lot of uh, lazy um, arms in the top section, so we've just got to be careful. I try never to be um, too tight. I always try to relax the machine, let it grow out to it. So anyway, we'll um, show you a bit of the machine working in a few minutes. that I'll set up be going through. Uh, pretty ordinary, but anyway, it is what it is. We've got these um, crappy wires at the end assembly that just occasionally catches and walk home the neck. I'm pretty sure um, I won't walk through these two patches. Coming up really well, there's no flags, nothing from underneath. He'll do the end parts where I, um, I'm opening and closing here. That's about it. Do try to keep the shoulders in on the vines. I like to keep the thing, keep the vines back tight every year as best I can. Um, this grow, we've been doing this for a long time. And uh, he's still growing very good tons. And it's keeping the vines in a uniform manner. Not slowly creeping out each year where we're having trouble with um, arm roll off with the two shafts running down. I know a lot of blokes are having trouble with that now. Allowing the vines to sneak their shoulders out and um, bending their shafts. There you go, I'm pretty sure well, the grower's not going to walk through this at all. Um, he'll do the ends. And I'm seeing, just as evidence of some of the old wood that I'm cutting out now, I'm cleaning out. He definitely won't be um, walking through this. Anyway, have yourselves a good day. We'll catch you later.